Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is the 21st review of group number 12 on the Dry Snuff Nasal playlist. That playlist and another review from it will pop up in the last 20 seconds of this video on screen. Anyone that would like to make a small one-time donation for content of this nature can do so through the PayPal link in the description of this video. So for this one, we will be taking a look at a Rosinski product. This is Brusler. all right? It is in a 10 gram sachet. It does have a small Ziploc, but you will be seeing that closer when we take a closer look at the packaging and the product inside. So let's take it over to the desk now and get right on that. So here we are, and this is a sachet. Now, when I originally did the first products of this, um, which I got through a third party online retailer, I didn't quite understand what this was about. I, I, I guessed that they were to be put in some sort of snuff box or snuff jars. As, I, as it turns out, I was right because the company sold its own. And these were always put forth on the third party site as refill sachets. And that's exactly what they are meant to be. The jars they sold were dark blue glass with plastic lids and this sticker right here that you see on this, the same stickers were available for the jars. So that is the reason behind this. It does have two small tear tabs. I will be using scissors to cut them. There is a small, very stiff Ziploc that actually works in a lot of cases too well. You got the German warning label down bottom. On the back, another German warning label their website, which is where this product came through. I, uh, when they were shutting down, right before they shut down, when I took in donations wanting to get the company's products that were going out of business, um, I went directly in most cases to the companies. So that website is where I went. Now there is no tobacco for sale there. That said, I believe they are still selling labels and jars, last I checked. It is denoted as 10 grams. And the production is February of 2024, which is a really good date when it comes to nasal stuff. Extremely good date. With that, we will open it up. As I said, I am using scissors. So with these, usually you can see the zip lock. The tear marks are a little bit too high. Now, I don't know if that's because if you tear, they're thinking that you'll tear at an angle and come down, but the balloon out is right about there at the end of my thumbnail. So that's where we're gonna go. So as you can see, it's a little bit below. And we will see. Yep, I got it. Okay. Good. Ah. And as I already said, the Ziplocs are very stiff and work really, really well. So that is the product inside there. Uh, it is looking like, in person, a very dark brown. That is probably a good representation there, although it's shadowed a little bit on camera. The lighter, when I bring my hand in, is a little bit too light. We will get some out here. So basically what I learned from going around their website when I was picking all of these out is that without fail, with the exception of some of their uh, Schmausler products, they're using a burly base flower which is, is basically common. I mean, that, that, that's sort of the standard industry-wise. Let me bring this down a little farther. And we will bring this up a little bit. Um, 
and they had them in a number of different sections. You had brown snuffs, black snuffs, and green snuffs. This, I believe, is what they had as a black. So, it looks good moisture. It looks like there may be some larger bits laid in on top of the base flower. I'm not smelling anything from this distance, but I didn't think I would be. We're going to take it back up top, and I'm going to let you know what I think. Okay, and we are back back so these sachets are actually sort of a pain to deal with if you're not dumping them into something and I don't have anything really to dump it into uh, you can't really quite pinch off them because it's not wide enough you can't get it open you don't want to pour it out because the opening's too big and you're gonna possibly dump it's just sort of whoa I just smelled something there though <laughs> okay That's sort of funny. Uh, it smells like, like without exaggeration, it smells like um, Copenhagen mint. <laughs> that's what it smells. I swear to God, that's what it smells like. Yeah. So they're okay. They're using mint. Uh, I did not look this one up. Uh, in for this particular video, I I I was probably read it at some point when I was ordering it, but there's no question. Uh, it's not menthol. That's mint. That has to be mint. So I'm going to take a little bit out. Whoa, whoa, whoa now. Rosinsky snuff spoon getting all crazy. We're going to put some just on the hand and I'm going to pinch off that and that's probably way more than I need as well, but we're there now, so... I'm going to close this back up. Yeah, it, it smells like mint dip. Uh, I'm dead serious. I, 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 it smells like one in particular. It smells like Copenhagen. Um, okay, so here we go. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm dealing with now, at least. Wow, that's ridiculously pleasant. It's light, it's fluffy, uh, it's a medium, it's a fine to medium grind, but it comes off like, you can see how it's sort of sitting up there. It comes off light and fluffy, sort of like a Pulse product. Not quite to that extent though, but along those lines, just to give you an idea, it's ri ridiculously easy to take. But at the same time, yeah, it's really easy to take, but you can feel a slight burn, which I am guessing is probably nicotine intake. It's got a very natural mint smell over sort of a light tobacco, but I find myself so taken with how fresh and natural the mint is. I'm not really picking up too much on the tobacco. The tobacco is there though. It's really easy to take. Now mind you, I take very small amounts for these reviews. And in general, in private, you know, day to day, I don't do huge amounts. My nose will not take that. And if I force it, it won't be pleasant and then it won't be a point of doing it. So I don't. Um, so I am taking very small pinches off this, is, which is why you see me keep doing it. Um, it's got enough moisture in it that it doesn't go too far. It's fluffy and airy enough that it's extremely comfortable in the nose. And it's aided even further in that respect by the mint. That said, this is not this is not mentholated, all right? This is not camphor, this is actual mint, like mint leaves from a mint plant. Um, which I must have not had one of these recently because I'm really sort of digging this one. 
Uh, the nicotine isn't terribly high, but it's there. I can tell it's there. Uh, Yeah, because every time I take a little more, I, I get the, the, the tingling sensation, which is most likely not the mint by itself. It's clearing. It's not going back too far. And I'm taking tiny amounts, and I'm, I'm, the uptake is moderate. I'm looking at mint... Not menthol, not camphor. I'm looking at mint nasal snuff differently. Uh, I'll tell you what, I, I really am. There are quite a number of mint snuffs. The thing is that it's either when they named them, they goofed up the translation as actually menthol, or best case scenario, it's mint, but they've also added menthol. This would appear... To be just mint, which in a way is sort of stand out itself. I'm not saying it's the only one out there. I'm not claiming that at all. There's probably quite a number. But this one is... This is a good one. I'm, I'm, right. This is a good one. And the way, the ease of taking... Okay. All right. Rosinski stuff. So hopefully, hopefully somebody picks this lineup. I, I really hope. And, and Pfizer land too. The only one that officially that I've heard of that has been picked up thus far is Bernard and McChrystal's has picked it up. But this Rosinski line. Now my favorite snuff is actually made by Pfizer land. But there's a lot of products in their product line that I don't care for. Except for the one I absolutely love. The Rosinski products are consistently a pleasant experience. So I, I really hope somebody somebody picks this up. I, I, I wouldn't... Number one, from a business standpoint, somebody shouldn't pass on picking this up. Let me put it that way. Anyway, this has been my review of Brussler by Rosinski Snuff in the 10 gram sachet. As always, I do hope you're well. Do take care of yourselves and God bless.